Hello everybody. And you know the last video that I showed, I showed my Michael Jackson CD collection so far. Now I want to tell everybody that uh, that's not all the CDs, but I'm planning to be getting more. So expect more updates. And for the person that wants more Michael Jackson videos, you got it. I'm eventually going to do that in the near future as well. So expect that. But for right now, I'm going to do some many small updates. The first update I'm going to do is my Nintendo Wii games collection. Because I got a couple of games. And you're going to find out what they are right now. Also, I'm going to throw in something as an added bonus as well. So, expect something. And I'm going to, and I'm going to show that probably at the end of the video. So... This is my update from my Nintendo Wii games collection today on another episode of What I Got. Now, if you have not seen my Nintendo Wii games collection that I did before, check that out first before you see this one. That way, it'll keep you up to date. Now, if I do post it as an annotation, you'll see it right here on the screen. I, of course, showed 18 Wii games. But in this video, I'm going to show you four. And this brings my Nintendo Wii games count to 22. The first game I'm going to show you, I actually got this at Walmart. And that is Kirby's Epic Yarn. And uh, it's a good game, but I think the only flaw is that it's easy. But if you want a little more of a challenge, try for the gold medals and try to get all the treasures. I think that is pretty much the challenge for this game. And it's a really good game, and it's fun to look at. So if you're a Kirby fan, or if you just like some, something of a good time, check this one out. You might like it. And I heard it was a good game anyway, so I'm not complaining. And I like it as well. Now, the next game, I actually got this at my local GameStop. Now, I got this new, but unfortunately, I had to have the case that was on the shelf. Because you know GameStop, once it's the last copy, you end up getting the case that's on the shelf. So, I ended up getting the case that was on the shelf for this game. And uh, the back cover is not in the best of shape, but it's not bad. The next game I'm going to show you now is Sonic Sega's All-Stars Racing. Now, I heard this was a good game, and I'm liking it so far. You can also check this out on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 as well. Now, I heard this was a really good game, but I have to play it more, so... Uh, I have not played it as much, but eventually I will. I'm liking it so far, so I'm really happy about that. So, if you like racing games, check this one out. I still have to get Sonic Colors, but when I do, I'll show you that in the near future. This, of course, was Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing. By the way, I forgot to mention that I got three of these at my local GameStop and of course the one I already showed I got at Walmart. I just wanted to point that out since I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. So Now the next game that I got, I've been wanting to check this out for a couple of years now, but never got around to doing that until now. I'll give you my opinion about it since uh, I've not played it yet. I'll give my opinion in the near future. Now, I actually got this used, but the disc and the booklet looks new. The only thing that doesn't look new is the case. It, it's actually cracked. And if I can get it, show you the crack. And I don't think it really matters if I show you the crack or not. But, okay. That's the crack. Now, this game was actually originally on the PS2. And was later ported to the Wii. And I heard both was awesome. I of course got the Wii version. And that of course is Okami. And I heard it was an awesome game. 
I have not played it yet, but eventually I will. Now, if you're a big fan of Okami, I recommend you checking this out. And I think there's a new game out, I think, for the DS or something. I'm not sure. But I recommend you checking this out. I still have to play it, but I'll give you my opinion in the near future. That, of course, was Okami. Now, the last game that I got, I've actually been wanting this since December 12th, but unfortunately, it sold out and eventually went to collector's prices. But Nintendo brought it back for a final shipment, and it was re released on March 13th. But I actually got mine a day earlier because uh, GameStop called and said I could pick it up. They actually called two days before March 13th, so just wanted to tell you that right now. And I actually pre-ordered mine. And I'm going to show you it right now. And I got, ta-da, Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition. Now, I've been actually wanting this since December 12th. This was to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. The reason why I wanted it is because it was a limited edition and eventually it will go out of print. So if you do not got this, please get it. Don't be left out like you were with Metroid Prime Choji. I was able to get that copy of Metroid Prime Choji, but it cost me almost 70 bucks for that one. But I got this for at least 30 bucks. Now, unlike Martin, who recycled this packaging part, I'm not recycling that for sure. I want to keep this primarily as a collector's item. That's the reason why I pretty much got it. Now, I originally played this game when it was on the Super NES. I rented the game back in 1993. But I never actually bought the Super NES version. I should have. But I now got this. And I'm thinking about doing what I got for this in the near future. So, that's Super Mario All-Stars for Super Mario Brothers, the 25th anniversary. And, of course, this is the limited edition. Now, I told you at the beginning of the video that I was going to have an added bonus. Well, I want to show you a couple of game shirts that I got at Walmart. So, Of course, you probably saw this one when I did my... Let's Fail Super Mario Galaxy 2, the perfect run video that I did. I think one was the deleted scenes one and the other was part 12. And I was doing the videos talking about uh, the game. And I actually had this on. This, of course, is a Super Mario Brothers t-shirt with most of the characters, I think. It's kind of retro. I just want to say that. And uh, if you watched my Let's Fail Super Mario Galaxy 2, the part run video that I did having this on, then you saw it. No big deal. Just wanted to show that to everybody that has not seen it. Okay, I'm going to fold this up. And we're going to show you one more shirt. And I've never shown you this shirt before, but I'm going to show it to you right now. Also at Walmart, I haven't worn it yet. And of course, Brian Walmart, if you're watching, or a couple other Sonic fans, look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog ran on it. Pretty cool, huh? I have not worn this one yet, so just wanted to tell you that. And it's a pretty nice shirt. I decided to pick it up. So, that's why I wanted to show you as an added bonus. Now that is all the wee towels that I got and of course I told you about Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now Super Mario All-Stars I don't really have to give you my opinion about. I know it's awesome and you probably know it's awesome. By the way, you may want to get this before it goes out of print. It's available now in stores and uh, it's only 30 bucks so uh, check it out. Get it. Don't be left out like you were with Metroid Prime Trilogy, alright? At least if you get this, you'll at least have one of the two limited edition Wii titles. So, just wanted to tell you that right now. And of course, finally, I showed you the shirts. And that is it for this update. 
The next update will be a DVD Blu-ray update. It's mainly going to be Disney. But I do have to show you one box set since it completes a TV show series. And I'm going to show you that after this video. So check that out after this video. So that's all I really got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out to you all. And I'll see you next time. Blog you later everybody. before it's gone all right this of course was super mario brothers all-stars <laughs> super mario brothers All